come back. Christmas is just over a week away, so it's crunch time and pulling off that celebration with the whole family. Josh Breider is in the 608 this morning with some last minute holiday hacks. Hey, there, hey Josh. guys, good morning, Chris. I know you're ready, Leah. We'll chat later. <laughs> You're not wrong. So I caught up with Lisa Briggs of the Bruce Company for some advice on making this Christmas season a little easier when it comes to shopping for family and friends. It is crunch time, Lisa. It is, and if you're a procrastinator like I am, because I would like to shop at the last minute. I a don't lot know of folks why. are like that. Yeah, and some people just, they have busy lives and they just don't get to it to the last minute. So we've got some last minute gift ideas for some of the favorite people in your life, and I've sort of grouped them by maybe interests of people. And you can get kind of creative with this too. Absolutely, and I like building like little baskets or kits. So you can think about one or two things of these things that you like, or you could just sort sort of go wild and get like a big group of little things. A little more personalized for I think those so people too. too. I think so too. So you want to start at your end? Let's do it. Okay, so a lot of folks have gotten into veg gardening the last few years, especially since COVID started. People have home gardens, and so if you know somebody who has done some vegetable gardening maybe they did some things in pots over the summer and they want to maybe do take it up to the next level they could do some seed starting and so the, you could do it in these trays or you could do a little windowsill pot with some herbs what you're gonna need is some watering some seeds of course lights and potting soil for seed starting and Farmer's Almanac, always super helpful. I don't know how true it ever is, but it certainly is entertaining. You're really gifting them an experience there too. Absolutely, and that's a little bit about what this is, this is all about. So then we've got bird lovers. Lots of people have really gotten into watching birds in their backyard. The backyard bird count over the holiday weekend is always fun. And so you could get some things for birds. So I love this feeder. Everybody's got squirrel problems. And this feeder, if something heavy gets on it, like a squirrel or a chipmunk, it, it closes. Lifts. Oh my gosh. And then lifts for the birds, because birds don't weigh very yeah. much. And you know, you can do suet for some of the birds, like woodpeckers that hang around over the winter, some seed. And if you can't beat the squirrels, you can always join them and give them some food and keep them away from your feeders. Share the love a little bit. Absolutely, squirrels <laughs> are hungry too. And then finally, I did like a little spa selection because Christmas is a really stressful time of year and we all need to take a little break. So I've got a little spa basket here with a face mask that you can chill and some shower steamers. So if you're not a person who likes baths but you like that scent, you can just put that disc in your shower. And then I thought this was super fun. This is a shower speaker. Soapbox hero. Right, so if you want <laughs> tunes, if you like to sing in the shower, it's karaoke in the shower. I'm thinking soapbox <laughs> hero. I can hear it already. There you go. <laughs> so they're really something for everyone yet. Absolutely, there are lots of, lots of things that you can put together. But then, you know, taking the experiential thing a little bit further, I think like a cookie jar with cookie dough or a recipe or cookies would be really wonderful for somebody that maybe just likes a sweet treat but doesn't have time to bake. So still plenty of time to get creative. Absolutely, I think so. And you guys are busy all the way up through Christmas. We are busy all the way up through Christmas. So we are here to help everybody with their last minute shopping needs. Wonderful, we need the help. I need the help. <laughs> we all need the help. Lisa, thank you so much. Merry Christmas to Merry you. Merry Christmas to you too. Appreciate your time. Thank you. We always love our chats with Lisa. We'll have all these tips up on channel3000.com. <laughs> Last time I saw Lisa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love Lisa. She's so talented, but I filled in on the noon show. That's a long day for the morning show, folks. I couldn't figure the out how to take segment. the, the she call couldn't, segment. Yeah, I'm over there. That was when I was doing weather that day, and I was just over to help you. And, yeah, you, you struggled a little bit, but yeah. line two, anybody there? Nope. Let's try line three. Poor <laughs> Lisa. Something to do with the red lights, if they're flashing or if they're solid. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've never done it before, and so I'd, I, I didn't. I didn't go well. There's a reason that we just, we, we talk, we read, because we're not good with the technical stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's not our thing. If so. I missed your plant question, please reach <laughs> out to us and we'll have Lisa get in touch with you. She is immensely talented, so she had some good gift ideas here as well. At least you're cute and pregnant. We'll give it that. I'm still embarrassed, which is why I'm talking about it. Okay, so here's a chance to redeem yourself. Next half hour, we're having a cookie decorating contest. Oh, okay. okay. You guys remember how the gift wrapping segment We'll see. Went? I know. Yeah, you won last year. We'll see how we go with the cookies. The problem is, I think we're going to keep you from eating the cookies before they're done decorating because she's already been eating the cookies in the newsroom like they're not even decorated i am eating for two josh i got seven days left i, I gotta 
<laughs> put some meat on this baby. At this point, just let her do what she wants. I now. know, I know. We've been doing that for months already. Well, at least. <laughs> so, all right, stay, Thanks, stay tuned. About 25 minutes from now, we'll be uh, decorating those cookies and eating them along the way.